And Melania Trump is publicly breaking with her husband on abortion rights. The former first lady released a video promoting her upcoming memoir where she's signaling support on abortion rights. Without a doubt, there is no room for compromise when it comes to this essential right that all women possess from birth, individual freedom. What does my body, my choice really mean? Her defense of abortion is in sharp contrast to her husband's position, who regularly takes credit for overturning Roe v. Wade, which had protected the right to an abortion in the States. Earlier this week, Donald Trump said he would veto a federal abortion ban if it came across his desk. And with me now to talk more about this is Avis Jones DeWeaver, political and social commentator. Ms. DeWeaver, thank you very much for being here with us today. We appreciate it. My pleasure. Now, this stance, uh, Melania Trump's stance on abortion, does this put her at odds with her husband? What could this all mean? Well, you know, it does put her at odds with her husband, specifically. Uh, we know that he is the person who made the deal with the devil, so to speak, with regards to the religious right here in the United States to pack the court uh, with justices that would overturn Roe v. Wade. They are fought for ending uh, access to abortion uh, in America as we had known it for decades. And so she's definitely at odds with her husband in that respect. It's also interesting because, quite frankly, she's been largely MIA on the campaign trail. She did not show up to the Republican convention. She Even before the campaign, she did not show up to any of his court proceedings. Uh, and so she's kind of been over in her own lane doing her own thing here for months. It's quite interesting that she chooses now, uh, roughly 30 days before the election, to specifically come out on an issue that is so critical to, honestly, Trump's legacy and his ability to re-amass the coalition that got him into the White House in the first place. Right. So why do this now? Is this some kind of, is there a, is there a strategy behind this here, or is she just going rogue? That is an excellent question. And on the one hand, one could say, because of everything that I've just mentioned, she's not signaling that she's very uh, close to him right now. She, you know, know that we know that recently he was found guilty of uh, participating in sexual assault activities. We know about the whole thing with Stormy Daniels, uh, you know, as a wife, knowing that she was cheated on with a porn star and it became that public. Certainly, I'm sure it didn't help their marriage. Uh, and so one could argue that uh, perhaps this is her way of kind of standing on her own, separate and apart from him. Um, but on the other hand, perhaps it is some sort of uh, strategy, because uh, the Republican Party knows that their stance on abortion is a losing issue for them. Every state that's had a ballot initiative that's meant to expand abortion rights since the loss of Roe has actually gone in the Democrats' favor. This is possibly his most uh, difficult issue in this upcoming election. And perhaps she's trying to signal uh, that if he is indeed elected, she will be in his ear and wink, wink, she's going to protect your rights, even though we know there is no specific evidence to show that that would actually be the case if he got another chance at the White House. Hmm. So really, do you think this is going to cause any Republicans to turn on Trump or could it open the door for more moderates to support him? To me, I don't think anyone's going to turn on him publicly. Uh, a lot of Republicans who are going to do that, that are overtly anti-Trump, have already done it. They've come out and they have, in fact, endorsed uh, Kamala Harris. A, a long list of Republicans have done that. Uh, however, those people who are staunchly Trump are staunchly Trump. Uh, and they will make some excuse to explain it all away in the same way that they have explained away uh, his starting an insurrection on January 6th. There seems to be nothing that can happen in and around him that they can't explain away if they want to support this person. Uh, and unfortunately for the rest of the country, we have to be subjugated to their lack of logic and reason. That's our time. We'll have to leave it there. Avis, thank you for being here with us. Thanks for having me. That's Avis Jones-DeWeaver, a political and social commentator.